dude. I'm trying not to kill us. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around. Aloha, welcome back, you beautiful people, to the wonderful island of Oahu. Resting your head in my arms. You sing. Good morning. Welcome to Kailua. We're gonna get Konos in Kailua for breakfast, and then we're going paddleboarding and snorkeling at Secret Beach on the Marine Corps base. Now, I was in a bit of a rush that morning. I was trying to beat the wind, but it was worth it. The girls and I have been to this beach before. We went with Kimberly and her family, and it is amazing. The reef there. There's a lot of secret beaches around here, you guys. Bear with me. But Mama. this one, I really love. It's got a beautiful reef, and hopefully we hit it just Alex. right. And once again, Haley doesn't have shoes. Well, at least Alex does this time. All the secret beaches have a couple things in common. They're usually secluded. They usually have amazing reefs or a cove or marine life, fish, seals, turtles. Usually all of the above are possible when you go to one of the secret beaches on Oahu. That being said, please try to keep them this way. As in pick up after yourselves, don't have a party here. And above all else, wear reef safe sunscreen. No spray sunscreen, mineral base. It feels like it's been forever. Yummy goodness. It's been around, it's been around your hand, reaches mine. Feels like I can't be easy, is that what you said? Just give okay. me See it happen. like that was magic. We're gonna be switching over to the GoPro. Got my fancy dancy things, my beautiful sunscreen. Yes. But like I said, we're trying to beat the wind. supposed to pick up for another few hours but obviously <laughs> was definitely not no 10 knot winds. I was getting beaten pushed back and on top of it we didn't quite hit Secret Beach at high tide and you really do need to hit this at high tide because the reef is like right there. Fortunately for you guys I still have all my footage that we haven't shared from the day that Kimberly and I went there. She had friends come out from New York and we took them snorkeling. So we're gonna cut to that, you guys, so that you guys can see just how beautiful this reef can be. Unfortunately, it was high tide and we were able to squeeze on by but again, if you're new to snorkeling, it can be very intimidating. There was very limited room to swim over top of that reef without touching it. So keep that in mind. That was high tide. was 
also still here visiting from New York. Oh, I was about to say New York. He'd be. <laughs> Just made New York City. New York City. Evans from Texas, and he was still visiting. <laughs> This was probably the closest I had seen to Maui's reefs. Just beautiful. Personally, I thought the coral was an amazing shape. Like I said, the coral reefs on Oahu, many of them are just trampled and over, over visited, over loved. Love too much, that's a thing. It really does happen. So please keep that in mind. But if you are military or you have family in military that could sponsor you to get you on base to see this reef, I do recommend it. Snorkel at high tide, watch the wind. Paddle boarding here would also be amazing. Again, high tide, otherwise your fins are just gonna be scraping that reef, which is not good for your board and it's not good for the reef. That was a bust. <sighs> not no 10 mile per hour winds, holy hell. Uh, that was pretty serious. We were going nowhere. So for that day, the girls and I limped home, defeated by the wind. Um, but you know what? There's always some other kind of adventure. And I don't know who brought it up first. Bowling got brought up. And we have not actually gone bowling as a family. And there's an amazing bowling center right on base. So John was off work. The girls and I quickly changed, got cleaned up, and we headed out to go enjoy a family bowling night. I mean, you can see the pure happiness in John's face right there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
John and I were kids, about probably like 10 years old. We would hop on our bikes, ride down to Main Street. There was this little kennel pin bowling place. I don't know if it's still there. I really hope that it is. And we would have, you know, just a couple bucks from our parents. That's all that we needed to play quite a few games. And John and I loved spending our time doing that. Oh man. you guys enjoyed this quirky <laughs> adventure. Mahalo for watching. If you guys have been to Seagrew Beach, let me know what you guys think. You know, does it compare with other reefs? Mahalo for watching you guys. <laughs>